You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, guys, we're going to be talking about former WNBA player Cheryl Swoops here in this video. Now, Cheryl Swoops uh, played in the WNBA for the Houston Comets, uh, won three WNBA titles, if I'm not mistaken. I believe she actually missed the first year because she was actually having a baby. So I don't think she was actually on that first um, Comets uh, championship team. But I actually met uh, Cheryl Swoots back, I believe, in 1993. Uh, she came to my high school along with some other uh, athletes because they were actually up for the uh, Babe Zaharias Award. I think she actually won that. She spoke in my school with some other um, people as well. We're going back a long way, guys, like 30 years. I don't remember exactly what I said to her. I probably didn't even speak to her, to tell you the truth. But anyway, anyway, I haven't heard the name Cheryl Sw Swoops in uh, quite a while. OK, she hasn't played basketball in a WNBA for a while. But um, I've always said to guys that women's college basketball is way more popular than the WNBA. I mean, when it comes to college basketball today, man, people are talking about Ka Caitlin Clark and uh, Angel Reese. They are big time stars. And I was actually reading something the other day where I don't remember who it was. But this uh, one one college basketball player that's a female, they were actually saying she should actually stay in college because she would actually make more money with NIL deals than the WNBA, which is a fact. I believe this player, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it may be Angel Reese. I don't remember exactly. But anyway, they made something like nine hundred thousand dollars in college. You go to the WNBA. Guess what? You're making what? A hundred thousand dollars on average, something like that. Yeah, that is a huge pay cut. So if I was actually in college on uh, basketball, I would actually hold out and play all my years, as many years as I can in women's college basketball. But anyway, that's a different story. So I digress. Uh, Cheryl Swoops made a controversial comment about black people and race. Now, it seems like um, she is extremely jealous that Caitlin Clark actually became the women's NCAA all-time leading scorer. She also broke a record by uh, Cheryl Swoops also as well. So it seems like she's extremely salty. Now, apparently some people actually called um, Cheryl Swoops uh, racist. I don't know if her comments were necessarily racist, but it definitely seemed like uh, Cheryl Swoops was salty. Very, very salty. And apparently she got some things wrong also as well. She backtracked. Uh, she came out and uh, apologized, I guess you can say. But now, guys, she is in hot water again for what she said about black people and racism. And it makes absolutely no sense. So let's go ahead and talk about it, guys. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. We appreciate the support. So let's get into it, guys. Check this out. Ants WNBA player Cheryl Swoops insists black people can't be racist. This has to be one of the dumbest statements I think I've ever seen. Newsflash, guys. White people aren't the only people that can be racist. Everybody regardless of skin color, ethnicity, can be racist. And I'm black myself. I've definitely um, heard um, black people say racist things about white people. It's just a fact. OK. There's a narrative out there that only white people can be racist. Now, Cheryl Swoops tries to actually set this up. She actually says her best friend is white. That is the excuse right there. So apparently she can't be racist or black people can't be racist because she has a white friend. This is astonishing, guys. This doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, but let's read this, guys. Former Women's National uh, Basketball Association star Cheryl Swoops is fighting back, saying that black people are incapable 
of being racist after she was called a racist over recent comments about college basketball star Caitlin Clark. Early this month, Swoops, who is black, attacked white college basketball star Caitlin Clark and said that Clark doesn't deserve the accolades she is getting for breaking women's college basketball records. Clark broke the NCAA's women's career scoring record on February 15th, leading Iowa to a third place in women's basketball this season. Uh, Clark also defeated one of Swoop's records after setting an NCAA tournament record by scoring 191 points over Iowa's six games last year. Last year, Clark demolished Swoop's 177 points for Texas Tech in 1993. Now, a lot of guys really don't like uh, their records actually uh, being broken. We know that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, he really didn't want LeBron James to actually um, uh, take down his scoring record. It happened. It is what it is. You know, uh, records, they're meant to be broken. But anyway, the college star success apparently led to sour grapes on Swoop's part. Swoops tried to diminish Clark's achievements, but her claims were full of false stats and misinformation. And social media users accused her of dissing Clark solely because the college star is white. Now, I'm not going there because I don't really know. But it definitely does seem like uh, Cheryl Swoops is salty and jealous. I'm just going to leave it at that. I mean, if you guys believe that uh, she is racist, hey, that, that's your thing. I'm not going to play the race card, okay? The former college and WNBA star lashed out at Clark in several social media posts, claiming that Clark cheated because she used an extra year of, year of uh, eligibility and took 40 shots per game. Swoops was not just wrong, but extremely so. Not only has Clark not taken an extra year, but she has also had half of the average per game shots that Swoops claim. And uh, naturally, uh, Swoops uh, took to took a lot of heat online and many called her racist for attacking the white college star. But let's go ahead and listen into what our Cheryl Swoops actually, actually had to say here. And mentioning black people can't be racist. This is idiotic and makes no sense. Let's play it. So for people to come at me and say that I made those comments because I'm a racist, like, first of all, black people can't be racist. But, like, that's the farthest thing from my mind. Like, I grew up in a very small West Texas town, predominantly white. My best childhood friend is white. Winter, predominantly white. College, won a national championship. Pretty much everyone on the team was white. Like, we're sisters to this day. Like, like that's not a part of my DNA. Um, I have, like, no issues with Caitlin. Her breaking the record, I think, obviously, is a tremendous accomplishment. Um, but I, I think what Caitlin has done for not just college basketball, but for women's basketball, period, I think has been great. The following, people watching the game, sellouts that we haven't seen ever. Yeah, so you heard that right there. Black people can't be racist, according to Cheryl Swoops. Just not true. Guys, I remember, um, and you guys probably remember this too, back in the uh, summer of uh, blood in 2020, that was a whole bunch of racism against white people from uh, Black Lives Matter, right? The three Marxist women of Black Lives Matter were racist. They were, they had their foot soldiers out there in the streets, you know, burning up stuff, burning down buildings, talking about white people, all this other stuff. If you want to get political also, uh, Letitia James up there in uh, New York, the uh, attorney general, said some pretty racist stuff about Donald Trump. And Trump actually called her out on that. I mean, this woman blatantly racist. And she has extreme TDS. But that's another story, so I digress. But what do you guys think of this? What do you guys make of um these comments from Cheryl Swoops? Th this is ridiculous, man. Anybody of any color can be racist. Just because you're black 
doesn't mean you can't be racist. Hispanics can be uh, racist. Asians can be racist. Actually, I made a video back during the, the uh, Wuhan virus where where there was this um, McDonald's in China. They were saying that black people were not allowed in the restaurant because they may actually spread the virus. Yeah, that was a real thing. That was actually happening in communist China. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.